Hi, welcome to my Inktober video number 12. Now this is a special one which comes unexpected even for myself and it is here because I have seen the new Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix yesterday. Are you interested in this film? Have you already seen it? Let me know what you think about it. I will say there has not been a movie in a very long while which has affected me as deeply as this one. It is heavy and when it ended I thought I was never going to be able to rewatch it, but now that the day has passed I want to see it again. And it also gave me an immediate urge to do a Joker portrait painting, which is what I'm doing now. I am not a fan of comic book movies and I cannot say I really care about Batman either, but I did watch all of Christopher Nolan's Batman movies at the time they came out and I enjoyed them a lot. And may I add, I always thought the villains were more interesting than the Batman himself. Particularly the Joker portrayed by Heath Ledger, he blew my mind and I have watched The Dark Knight countless times, most times just skipping through the movie to see the parts where the Joker appears. So from that time I have been interested in the Joker character and I love Joaquin Phoenix, so I was very excited when I heard that this new film would come out. Now, this is not a superhero movie, but honestly that doesn't put me off in the slightest. This is the disturbing life story of an ordinary man, and the Batman world is a very good platform to carry a story like this. For me, it worked brilliantly. People are making this a contest between all the movie Jokers, and the obvious top two are the Jokers played by Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix. Me, I love them both. The Ledger Joker was energetic, a mad dog, intense, scary, but entertaining at the same time. I am still fascinated with that portrayal. The Phoenix Joker, on the other hand, it's tragic, it's painful to watch, and as the transformation of Arthur into this iconic character is more and more complete, there is a strange feeling of release and relief. I think this is a genius movie with striking acting. I don't feel the need to compare it to The Dark Knight because they are totally different. If you have seen it and have anything to say about it, please don't hold back, leave a comment. Now like I mentioned, I felt the irresistible urge to paint a Joker portrait after watching the movie, but I was hesitating for a moment whether I should wait until Inktober ends, because I didn't want to throw in something in the middle of the challenge which differs so much from the rest of my Inktober work. I considered doing the portrait in black and white, but that felt unsatisfying and I didn't want to compromise. But I didn't want to wait either. So I decided to give up the restriction of black and white and do a little experiment. I will be attempting to paint this portrait in ink first and then go over it with some light watercolor brushes. I have never worked this way, but I am hoping to get some nice muted colors out of it. I am actually recording this voiceover before I even start the painting, so as I am speaking I have no idea how it turned out. Hopefully I will not be too disappointed. And I hope you guys will like it too. If you are new here and you like what you are seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!